I've received several requests for showing how to create an email signature. These instructions will show you how to add it through Office 365. First, you need to log into Office 365. If you aren't already in your inbox, your Outlook portion of 365, click the array in the top left corner and select Mail. Next, come over to the right side and find the gear or the cog, click it, scroll down in the settings window until you see mail, click the link that says mail, scroll down on the left side and find where it says email signature and click it. The first two things you want to look at are the two options at the top. The first one says automatically include my signature on new messages I compose, meaning when I start a new email, it automatically puts a signature in it. So I do want that one. The next one says automatically include my signature on messages I forward or reply to. So if someone sends me an email and I click the reply button, it automatically adds my signature to my message as well. Or if I forward it to someone, it uh, does the same thing. This becomes important when you're replying to a group message so that people who may not know you personally will know who you are with, you, uh, with your job title. So I'm going to go ahead and add mine. I like to put my closing and my signature so that I do not have to type it every time. And then I'm going to add my name and I'm going to put my position title. If you're a teacher in a school, you probably just want to list the school that you teach in. Uh, some schools request that you put your room number in your signature as well so that it's easier for them to locate you if needed. Once you're done typing it, you can change the formatting. You can highlight all if you want to. I like to make mine a different color than the text in my email so it stands out a little bit more. I'm going to bold my name so that it stands out a little bit more and some people like to make their title italicized. So you have lots of options for your preferences, but I'm finished. So I'm going to go back up to the top and click save. And it's as simple as that. We'll go and see what changed. So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to close this settings window. I'm going to go back to my array in the top left corner and go back to mail. I will, when I click compose or new, you'll see it automatically adds my signature into, my, into the body of my email and it leaves two spaces above it for me to type a message. So on all your emails you compose, you will now have this email signature included. I hope you found this video helpful.